Hello everyone, the 316, Lego Maniac 316 here with a Halo Mega Constructs video. I believe this is the first one I've done. Uh, if I, Well, it's been quite some time. I do remember doing one like at least six years ago. Man, time flies, doesn't it? Anyway, this time uh, I'm going to do an unboxing. I think this is the first unboxing I've done since I won those Mountain Dew rewards. Anyway, this is the Light of Sing Helios from Halo Hero Series 15. Retails for four ninety nine, and luckily enough, there was one at my local Target. It was the only one left, so I grabbed it, picked it up. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. 15 Light of St. Helios. It's a nice blue background, Halo Universe in the top right there. Now, I did have one of the Elite Honor Guards uh, figures from years ago. I don't have that to compare to right now. That's in storage, unfortunately. There's all the back detail that you need. There's the bottom for the barcode if you need that. I know some people uh, use that for trying to find the figure. Anyway, there is a little pull tab at the bottom here, so you just pick it up, and then and it didn't really uh, break as easily as I thought it would, but let's go ahead and open this. Yeah, I'm just going to... I mean, they don't expect you to keep the box, but it is nice packaging. Oof, such a long staff, I have to rip the whole back out, basically. Okay, and this has a little bit of a... Uh, looks like advertisement for future or upcoming or already released sets. So let's get that out of there. Goodbye package, I'll see you in the landfill. Or recycling. But basically a bunch of like legal mumbo-jumbo on the back there if you want to read it. Anyway... It does show you how to build this, which is kind of funny, but um, they're already pre-built. So, Anyway, here's the rest of the Halo Heroes Series 15. There's that uh, one ODST Ramos, I think. Ramos, Ramos. Agent Locke, they had some of him. Uh, Linda, I know they had some of her there. Uh, Decimus, one or two of him. And only one light of St. Helios, thankfully. Uh, I got one. Oop, my light got moved. Really need to fix this anyway. So where'd the stand go? There it is. So here's the stand. It's actually more of like a purplish color. I thought it was more blue, but no, it's definitely purple. It's nice. It's reflective. The silver is shiny. The purple is nicely printed. Uh, I enjoy that. This is a nice little stand piece and can be used for mocking. So all you got to do to put them on, there's a couple ways. Uh, but usually with these Mega Constructs figures, unlike Lego figures, instead of using two studs, uh, they use, you know, three studs distance. So you can put them on like that, or you can even eh, take his foot, put one in front and one in the back, and then he could do like a battle pose. But let's go ahead and give them their ceremonial staff piece. And yeah, I gotta say having this... Um, you know, micro action figure in hand looks great. And I occasionally buy Mega Construct stuff. You know, their blind bags are really nice. I've always liked those. I think the rarity system's kind of dumb when they're all labeled on which one's which, but you just gotta love the attention to detail and like helmet uh, sculpt they got on here. A really nice job on the paint. I would have liked to have seen a wash on the white, but I'm not really complaining. Let me eh, turn off. Oop, turned off both lights by accident. Eh, hold on. Let me just get the other light out of the way then. Get a better close up look at just how nice the silver detailing is. And here's the staff too. Really nicely painted. And for only five bucks, I mean, compare that to, you know, one of the Lego minifigures. This is printed everywhere, but look how much shiny reflective printing is on this. It's fantastic. And it's got a lot of weight to it, too. And it's not a mystery which one you're going to get. So let's go ahead and also compare him to some other Mega Constructs figures I have on hand. Uh, I do have the Infinite Warthog Rally set, whatever it's called. I think it's called Warthog Rally. Get my other light back in here. So I have one of the, I believe this is the mm, Halo Infinite Series 3 Ultra Elite in this really nice, lovely, like, very, like, toothpaste -y blue color. But there's him next to him. 
And then another Halo Universe figure, this time it's one of the White Grunts from the first Blind Bag series, which is, I believe, the only one as of time of this recording. But nice little uh, Covenant army grow in there. Looks good. And I already showed the uh, Lego minifigure on the side there. These guys, all four of these figures could really go together with just their color schemes. <laughs> I mean, the purple of their weapons... Um, you know, the, the bluish color with the two of them, the white and the two of them. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, unboxing video as well as review. Uh, let me know if you liked this video in the comments below. And if you want to see me do some more Mega Constructs videos in the future, uh, I definitely collect some of them, not all of them. So I'm not going to be getting a lot of the larger sets, although there is a... Halo Reach set coming out with all six members of Noble Team, and I believe that's going to be pretty hard to find, but I do highly recommend this figure. Uh, be sure to, you know, like the video, comment if you'd like to, and don't forget to hit subscribe as well as the bell to be notified when videos like this are uploaded to my channel. Thanks again, everybody, and peace.